Sabbaths, new moon, month, signs and wonders. I want to give all the honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rechakodash, the boss of the elders, that great man, stone, taught me the truth of the spirit. Sing your honors to the Yalat, peace and bless to the one third, and to the confusion of faces in the four corners of the earth. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Understanding the Sabbaths. <clears throat> I'm going to make a quick video on understanding the Sabbath. And also understanding the signs and wonders. And how the month comes from the word moon. And to show you what is the beginning of the first day of the month and so forth and so forth. Because you, um, you have groups like IUIC out there that still says... Even today, how you have seven day evangelists that what, what they would say from from Friday evening, I guess to uh, from Saturday evening will be their Sabbath. You can't find the word Saturday in the Bible, right? So how would you know if it's that day? You have to go by the moon cycles. Nonetheless. <laughs> Forgive me. It's a Psalms 81, 1 through 4. To the chief musician upon Giddeth, a psalm of Asa, sing aloud unto God our strength, Yahweh. Make a joyful noise unto the God of Jacob. Take a psalm and bring hither the timbrel, the pleasant harp with the sultry. Blow up the trumpet in the new moon, in the time appointed. On our solemn feast day, for this was a statue for Israel and a law of the God of Jacob. So it, said it was a point. It was a point in our law where you will blow the trumpet to inform the people of a certain Sabbath or of a new moon. Right now, I've went to the extent of picking up the moon phases. In the upcoming month of September 2024, we're at the end of August, right? So, if you look at day one, I'm sorry, um, September 1st to September 2nd, September 3rd. September 3rd is what? The new moon. Now, bear with me. I want to show you what the new moon would be, what the Sabbath would be, concerning when brothers will upload those videos from other GMS channels concerning when the new moon would be. So, as you can see, when is our new moon? Our new moon this month will be September 2nd, meaning Monday evening to Tuesday evening. All right? Monday evening to Tuesday evening. So, going back <clears throat> to the moon phases, when is the new moon? On the 3rd. When does our new Sabbath start? Our new moon start? On Monday at evening at evening meaning what the day starts in the evening all right and it shows you that in genesis this is genesis chapter 1 verse 5 and 8 it says and god the most high called the light day and the darkness he called night in the evening in the morning were the first day Verse 8, and God called the firmament heaven, I'm saying God, which means the Allah I am the angels, not the most high, and the evening and the morning were the second day. So in other words, your day starts when? From the evening. So the day starts in the evening, which is why the, if you see it, the, the Sabbath new moon videos will always say from this day eve to the next day eve that will commemorate a full day from one eve to another eve okay now exodus 20 and 8 through 11 it going into the word sabbath remember the sabbath day to keep it holy holy means separate six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work but the seventh day is the sabbath of the lord thy god yahweh thy god 
in it thou shalt not do any work, thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is all that is in them, forgive me, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the seventh day, the seventh day and hallow it. So the seventh day you're supposed to rest. Understand? But before we go into that, let's go into the word Sabbath really quick. The word Sabbath. It'll be Strong's H7676. All right? And we know it to be Shabbat. All right? Shabbat. Okay? Day of Atonement, Week, Produce, and Sabbath year. All right? Going down to Strong's definition at the bottom, what it says. It says intermission. And guess what an intermission would be like? A 15-minute on your job. An hour lunch or whatever, a 30-minute on your job. That'll be intermission. From what? Your servile work. Same thing. The seven days to do what? Rest from your what? Surround work. Going back to Genesis, where you where this says, "Men shall live by the sweat of his brow," meaning your laborious work, your husbandry. Now, going further into the Strong's lexicon, it says, "Forgive me, Sabbath, the seventh day of the week, the Sabbath of Yahweh, not Jehovah." The sabbatical year, there's also um the, the, the year where the, I'm sorry, the land Sabbath, forgive me. Every seventh year in which the land was not tilled, exactly, right? So now, this is the root word, the root word of it, of Shabbat. 76 and strong's 87673 to seize desist rest that's exactly what it means to rest all right and now pardon now going back to when it says the seventh day how will we determine the seventh day well before we even go into that, let's read Sarah or Ecclesiasticus, chapter 43, verse 6 through 9. He made the moon also to serve in her season for a declaration of times and a sign of the world. The moon. For what her seasons? A season is a time. Okay. And to what? Declare times. All right. From the moon is the sign of feasts, a light that decreaseth in her perfection. The moon, I'm sorry, the month is called after her name, increasing wonderfully in her changing, being an instrument of the armies above, shining in the firmament of heaven. It says increasing wonderfully in her changing. What does it mean when it's waxing, when it's waning? When it has to, yeah, given the light, when it has to light the full moon, when the light is gone and it's but a shimmer, that's the new moon. When you can barely see the moon, that's the new moon, people. All right. Continuing with verse nine. The beauty of heaven, the glory of the stars, an ornament given light in the highest places of the Lord. Remember also it says, Sirach 43 and 6, he made the moon also to serve in her season for a declaration of times. To do what? Declare the times. To declare the times. And that goes back to um, Acts 2 and 17. Let's get it. This is Acts chapter 2 verse 17. And it shall come to pass in the last day, saith God, I'll pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And on, and on my servants and on my hands may I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. That's today is that day. This is that day, y'all. This is that time. But here's the point. I don't want to lose traction of where we at. 
and I will shew wonder in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and noble day of the Lord come. Notice what it says. It says, the, uh, I will shoot wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth. And it says the sun shall return to darkness and the moon into blood. You can't make this up because we've had the blood moon. We've had solar eclipse, lunar eclipse. Those are signs in the heavens. Remember, those are declarations of times. And we're living in that time. You need to watch to see that. There you go. All right. So now that we have established the Sabbath, what it is, <clears throat> what it is, it's a high holy day. It's a day of rest and it's a day of reverence, right? So I'm going to read First Daniel chapter 20, verses 1 through 5. And verses 24 through 28. This is going to prove the first day of the month, which is determined by what? The moon. Hence, the calendar with the seven days, which they're with their names, which goes back to different Roman and Greek and Norse gods. No. All right. No. Anyhow, first Samuel chapter 20, verse 1. And David fled from Naoth and Ramah and came and said before Jonathan, what have I done? Jonathan was Saul's son. Saul was the king of the first king of Israel during that time. What is my iniquity and what is my sin before thy father that he seeketh my life? This was during the time when the Lord was um, taking the kingdom from Saul gradually and giving it to David. And I all went back to the Lord told King Saul, Israel to slaughter everything of a certain heathen nation. But Saul chose to keep some of the cattle because the people want to sacrifice to the Lord. And it goes back to that saying in the Bible, the Lord said, um, he loves, he love, um, he love obedience more than sacrifice. And that's when the Lord started stripping the kingdom from Saul and he was spiraling out of control. So anyhow, Verse two, and he said unto him, God forbid thou shalt not die. Behold, my father will do nothing, either great or small, but that he will shoot at me. And why should my father hide this thing from me? It is not so. And David swore moreover and said, thy father certainly knoweth that I have found grace in thine eyes. And he saith, let not Jonathan know this. Least he be grieved, but truly as the Lord liveth and as thy soul liveth, there is but a step between me and death. Now, here's the point. The point of me bringing that out is because King David was sitting at meat at, at, to eat with Saul. And I think Saul picked up a javelin, like a stick with a, like a spear, but it's different. And he threw it at, um, and he threw it at King David and King David fled. Right. And this is happening because Saul's being plagued in the mind. Saul's having the Lord take the spirit from him and he's going to be he, he's going to be left astray soon. But nonetheless, it's not the point. Here comes the point. Here comes the point. So this is first Samuel chapter 20, verse four. Then said Jonathan to David, whatsoever my soul desireth, I will even do it for thee. And here it goes. And David said unto Jonathan, behold, tomorrow is the new moon. Tomorrow is the new moon. And I shall not fail to sit with the king at meat, but let me go that I may hide myself in the field until the third day at even. So what time frame is he, if he, is he counting from? He said, let me be in the field until the third day. So for him to say that tomorrow is the new moon, he's already indicating that it's the first day. But we're going to read a little further. Now, this is the um, this is the, the last couple of passages in, in this lesson. I'm going to close out. First Samuel, chapter 20, verse 24 through 28. So David hid himself in the field. And when the new moon was come, the king 
sat him down to eat meat. And the king sat upon his seat as at other times, even upon a seat by the wall. And Jonathan arose, and Abner sat by Saul's side, and David's place was empty. Nevertheless, Saul spake not on not anything that day, for he thought something had befallen him. He is not clean. Surely he is not clean. So in his mind, he's like, can't David have to come in to eat with the king? Something must not be right. He must be ill. But he must not be clean. He must not be clean. That's what he's saying to himself. But David, no, you're trying to kill him. Here we go. Pay attention. First Samuel chapter 20, verse 27. And it came to pass on the morrow... You hear what he said? And it came to pass on the morrow. So, which was the second day of the month? So, on the new moon, King David did not go and eat. And so, I was like, something ain't right. Maybe he's not clean. Then they say tomorrow, which means the next day, which was the second day of the month. Right? That David's place was empty, and Saul said unto Jonathan his son, Wherefore cometh not the son of Jesse to meet neither yesterday nor today? Ooh. And, what, 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 yesterday or today? And it came on the second day. So the, the day so yesterday was what? The first day. Yesterday was what? The new moon. Verse 28, and Jonathan answered Saul, David earnestly asked, leave of me to go to Bethlehem. So we went down and understood Sabbaths or new moons. Matter of fact, let me put some respect on that. Sabbaths go back to the new moon. All right. The month comes from the word moon. That's how you determine your month. Hence, the the new moon determines the new the first day of the month, and uh, which will also be the first day of the week, and definitely depending on whatever equinox we are in, it could be the first day of the year. Hence, life. The beginning of a year starts in March, hence springtime, because you produce offspring, which is life. Indeed, in due time. But in the, in the winter, it, there's a term also called the dead of winter. I wonder why. Maybe because life don't begin with death. <laughs> but anyhow, a new year wouldn't begin in January. So with that being said, I pray all of y'all will add a fine fair, stay in the spirit, don't fear it, just endure it. Ask for forgiveness, paradox season, stay humble, remain diligent. Quran, Allah, Shalom.